Hello everyone, uh, today I will uh, present you a quick video tutorial on how to use uh, my new plugin for Unity Game Engine, Advanced AI Pro uh, or Advanced Artificial Intelligence uh, for Unity. Don't forget to check uh, the PDF uh, documentations with, uh, which uh, are very detailed. You can find it here under Documentation uh, and Advanced AI Pro PDF. Okay, so now after importing the package into Unity, don't forget to move uh, the editor folder from Advanced AI into your root project uh, uh, root project folder in Unity. Okay, now here I have uh, a tutorial scene uh, that I made quickly to demonstrate you uh, Advanced AI. Okay, as you see, it's a basic uh, geometry. Here we have a floor, some walls, and two slopes. Okay, now before using Advanced AI, uh, you have to pick uh, your navigation layers uh, to be used uh, with the AI or the navigation uh, mesh agent. So, uh, how to do that? It's very simple. Uh, you have to flag or to mark your static game objects in your scene as static. Static means that they don't move during the gameplay. So here I group all uh, all uh, game objects, uh, all static game objects in my scene in one uh, game object named uh, level geometry. And all I all I have to do now is uh, to to check here static or uh, at least navigation static. Yes, ch uh, change children. Okay, now they are static, and now I can go to window navigation. Here it's docked, uh, and uh, with all uh, all selected, I can click pick. Now you can see a blue uh, layer. This represents uh, the walkable uh, layer for the agent or for the AI, so it can only works. Uh, on this blue layer, but for example, uh, you can also ch always check the uh, the official uh, navigation and pathfinding systems uh, that uh, that comes uh, with Unity. Uh, for example, you can make some layers or some objects that are not workable. So, for example, when I choose, if you you want to make this part not workable. So you choose it, and then in your click, not workable. By default, they are all workable, so they can be used by uh, our AI. Or uh, so, okay. First step is done. Now I will add uh, a, a dummy 3D character uh, with uh, a basic set of animations. Uh, which I provided you uh, in the advanced AI folder. So here in showcase, prefabs, dummy character. I'll drag it into the scene. I'll make it face the other direction, as you see. Okay. First, also before uh, adding advanced AI, don't forget to add uh, the animation component, which comes with you, the Unity, to your character uh, game object. So uh, with all uh, with uh, all your animations uh, listed uh, here, as we see, for example, here we have seven animations. They are either run, bounce, shoot, hit, death, and walk. Okay, now with now with your game, character game object selected in the hierarchy scene, go to Advanced AI in the menu tab and choose Add Advanced AI. So here we have uh, uh, three classes. Uh, it can be it can be an enemy or an NPC, NPC non playable character or friendly character. It can be aggressive or passive. We will see that uh, later. Now I will add enemy. Okay, now it's set up. As we see, uh, just to explain to you uh, here, your main three, uh, character game object has become a child of a main AI game object. Also, a new game object is added, which is projectile origin, the origin, the launching uh, point of projectile if your eye use, uh, uses ranged attacks. Okay, the only thing uh, 
uh, that interests you is uh, to play here with the parameters to set up your AI. For starting with that, I will just uh, show you here. You can see that there are some color gizmos uh, added, so they represent the ranges uh, of the AI. For example, here the red sphere represents the view field of the AI. So it, uh, the AI can see its target only within this sphere red. The green of the red sphere. The green sphere is uh, the wandering range. Uh, this means that the AI can wander randomly in the level within this this range. So not beyond this range. You can only uh, you can always adjust uh, the diameter or the range uh, in the, here in the setup, uh, as we'll see later. And uh, here the white range, the white sphere, uh, is uh, go idle go to go in idle mode. This means that when the target uh, is beyond uh, the, this white range or this, this white sphere, the eye will go always to idle mode, mode or this means inactive. Uh, for example, when the target is very far, when the player is very far from the enemy. Okay, now here is uh, here are the parameters. Uh, the first is arrival distance, uh, which is uh, the distance from the target. Uh, which is considered as uh, if as uh, the, the AI has arrived is its destination, so it will stop at this distance from the target. Uh, by default, it's uh, uh, 0 0.5. You can, for example, make it to one if you want the AI to stop uh, uh, at a good distance from the target, so as you want. The pot the pot health uh, is uh, the amount of health points for your AI by default to 100. Can hear, you can check here, uh, you can check uh, here if the AI can hear the, the sounds playing by the target. For now, I explain it later. If the, the, the AI can do ranged attacks using projectiles, you check this, can range attacks. Um, otherwise, if uh, it does only melee attack, uh, melee attacks, so you won't check it. Can wander so if the eye can wander randomly in the level, you check it. Otherwise, if you if the, if the if you want your eye to stay in idle mode when it cannot see when it cannot see its target, so you uncheck it. So it cannot wander. Okay. Now chasing animation is the animation to be played uh, uh, when the eye chase chases its, its target. So uh, here it's important for all animation naming. Uh, anima uh, it, uh, the name that you write here must must match uh, the the animation clip name uh, in the animation component uh, from the animation component which is uh, assigned to your character. For example, here for chasing chasing uh, animation, uh, I will choose run. So it will it will run. Uh, towards the target when it's uh, when it see it, so it will chase it. So here we will we'll search. You will find that uh, run is written like that. So it must match. Otherwise, you will get error. So get error. So here run. Okay. Chasing speed. The speed of the of the eye when it uh, when it, it chases the, the the target. So to five by default. Death animation. Uh, all, so animation when it dies. Uh, here it's, it's named death two. It matches here uh, the name of the animation from here. Okay. So also we can set up all your uh, sound files or your SFX uh, sounds uh, uh, during uh, every each uh, animation state. For example, here we have the detection SFX, uh, the sound file to be played. When uh, the AI detects its target, so you can uh, you can assign here uh, any audio clip that uh, you want to play. Uh, important note: you don't have to add any additional scripts or components to your AI uh, to make it. Uh, for example, you don't need uh, to add uh, an audio source uh, uh, so uh, to make. Uh, be sure that uh, your uh, your sounds will be played fine. 
you don't need to add anything. All uh, uh, all other components that have uh, that have to be added, uh, it's the work of advanced TI to manage them. All. So only the only thing that you need to do is to set up the inspector editor here. That's all. Okay, for the moment I won't assign any uh, any sound files. Dice fix also the sound file to be played when uh, the AI dies. Disappear after death. This, this means uh, that uh, if the AI uh, or when the AI dies, it will disappear from the scene. If you want, you can check it, and you have you have here the, the disappear delay, so a time in seconds uh, that the AI uh, for which the AI will will disappear. Okay, I will leave it uh, unchecked. Uh, go idle radius. It's uh, the white sphere here as you want. So this is uh, the radius or, or the range. Uh, uh, beyond it, uh, the eye will always go to idle mode. Got hit anime. So when the eye gets uh, hit from the target, it's uh, the animation names named hit. Okay. Got hit SFX. Uh, the same as before. Hearing distance. Here, when we choose can hear, check can hear, here you will find that there is, uh, there is a new uh, blue sphere. Uh, this is uh, the hearing range, it's by default 2 to 5. This means that the eye will only hear its target within this range. So I will explain this later also. I will uncheck now down here, and not here for the moment. Idle anime, its name is idle. Idle is fix also the same. Look at speed is uh, the speed uh, of the AI when it rotates towards its target. This means, uh, for example, when you are behind the AI and you make a noise, the AI will hear you, will hear you, and when it hears you, it will try to to, to rotate uh, towards you. So this is the, the rotating speed. Melee attack and aim. So here uh, we have go range uh, can range attack is unchecked, so it does. A melee attack, so the, the melee attack name that we will use here is called punch. Sorry, punch. The melee attack damage is, is uh, the amount of uh, damage that the target will receive from a melee attack, uh, by, for, exam for example. Uh, melee attack is FX, also the sound file to be played during melee attacks. Melee attacks interval here is the time in seconds between each melee attack, for example. Uh, when the eye see its target, it will chase it, and when it's near it, it will it will uh, attack it. So uh, every uh, every uh, so uh, the interval between each melee attack is, for example, one second. So this means every one second uh, the the eye will attack will attack its target. The melee attack is FX. Sorry, we are here. So melee attacks interval each one second. Uh, melee attacks FX is also okay. Moving this FX is a sound file to be played uh, when the AI moves. This mean when, uh, means with, when uh, um, it wanders or when uh, when it chases the, chases, uh, the, the target. Uh, for example, it can be uh, foot, uh, footsteps, the sounds, the sound of footsteps. Projectile destruction here, all projectiles, I will explain them when we talk about ranged attack. So, so here, as we also, as we only hear, uh, uh, do a melee attack, so we won't use a projectile, so you can, uh, Simply, you can uh, you don't have to assign or to adjust any parameters here. We will leave it. Uh, we we'll leave them. Range attack anime also. Range attack is fixed. Range attack. We will leave them to another tutorial.